colonial era was dominated by the economic system known as mercantilism, which is when basically the government uh, <clears throat> favors select businesses and other groups in order to uh, achieve its various economic policies, uh, the, to, to, to increase the power of the government, to increase the wealth of the nation, of course, always at the expense of other nations, right? So that's how the dominating uh, dominant economic philosophy uh, argued for economic prosperity. Basically, the government uh, will make one country uh, the, the prosperous at the expense of other countries. It's sort of a kill or be killed mentality. Okay. So then uh, beginning with the Enlightenment, you think of <clears throat> John Locke and then sort of uh, moving further and further, the, people started to criticize this mercantilist system, uh, more broadly, just kind of libertarian, uh, uh, you know, just uh, general thrust. Economics was important, but there was no systematic criticism of mercantilist uh, philosophy or mercantilist economics really until Adam Smith's uh, an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations, which came out in 1776. This influenced many of the American uh, founders, particularly Jefferson. He really enjoyed the book. He thought it was a great uh, book on political economy, if not the best. I believe he said this in 1790. Hamilton was different. He, he didn't really find Adam Smith's pre, you know, prescription for economic growth basically hands off. Just develop the proper institutions that protect private property. As Smith once said in his lecture notes, peace, easy taxes, and a tolerable administration of justice. That's all you need. Uh, if Smith championed the invisible hand, Hamilton championed uh, what I call the visible hand, which is basically you get the government to intervene to stimulate various industries because that's how you make those industries great. So Hamilton thought the way you develop manufacturing in the United States is you have the government subsidize it. Okay, You don't just let the market decide to develop manufacturing when it wants to. So Hamilton's policies in many ways, everything from the debt assumption to the bank to uh, the Society for Establishing Useful Manufacturers and uh, all sorts of other stuff, larger military, et cetera, it really is the United States. It's, it's really a, a American mercantilism on a national scale instead of just individual colonies or independent states. So Hamilton should be understood as a thoroughgoing mercantilist.